What's going on guys? How's it going? Back at it again with another episode of Sipping with Samurai Piggy for you. Before we begin, please do not forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends, let them know what we're doing, let them know what we're drinking. And today, I feel like we need to come together, or all together as it may be, because this is an amazing thing that Other Half had started, and this variation of the all together beer is from Outer Range. So I have done a video on Other Half in the past describing how they started up, which you can check out right up here, but I have neither talked about Outer Range and I have neither talked about the all togetherness that we are doing in the brewing community. So once we get all that information sorted out, then we're gonna get to this beer and be drinking on our merry way. So let's do that. So first off, the altogether that you may have noticed a lot of breweries participating in is a is brewed to support hospitality hospitality professionals. So other half started this and they put out a notice that said, "Dear breweries of the world, there is an inextricable, inextricable oof, oof, link that binds together everyone in the hospitality industry: brewers, servers, bartenders, bussers, dishwashers, GMs, buyers, chefs, owners. We are all in this together." for what we've been going through during the corona pandemic. In this industry, when one of us struggles, the rest of us pick them up, it's baked into who we are. So Altogether is a worldwide open-ended beer collaboration created to raise support for the industry we love so much. It's an effort to raise awareness and provide relief, even in the smallest way, to those who are struggling. They've inviting, they are inviting any brewer from any corner of the planet to participate. The recipe is open source, the artwork is public and the name is yours to use. The goal is to provide you with the tools to make the beer at the lowest cost possible. They ask that a portion of the proceeds go to supporting hospitality professionals in your community. The rest should go to keeping you in business to weather the storm. For, for them, proceeds will go to the Restaurant Workers Community Foundation. That's Other Half Brewing. As much as this is about raising money, this is also an exercise in awareness so that local communities can understand how daily life has been upended for those that rely on social gathering to make a living at the end of the day this is about what is always this is about what it's always been about community while they may not be able to come together in person right now all of us in the brewing community that spirit can never be taken away from us if we can do our part to protect and support each other that spirit can actually be strengthened be safe be good to one another and they say they are here for us so that is from sam matt and andrew at other half brewing co and a big proponent who has been doing a lot of the shuffling. Shout out to the homie Jerris, Beer with Flavor. So this is what all together is. And then on the website, which I'm also gonna link, they have the tools at the bottom, which actually give you the base recipe. They give you the label design. They give you a label printing place. They give you a website for everything to be as easy as possible for any brewery to participate in doing this beer. So. Then we come to Outer Range. We stopped by Box Elder, a local beer bar, and we grabbed one of the first altogether cans that we saw, which was this one. So I'm gonna give some love to Outer Range because they are not here, they are in Colorado. And just to let you guys know, both Tripping and Unseen Creatures have taken part in the altogether beer canning. So I'm gonna be getting those beers soon and I'll be doing reviews of those as well. But again, guys, this is to help all the people in the industry. Portions of proceeds go to people in the industry and the other portions help support the breweries that are making these amazing beers. So that is all together. And now we talk about Outer Range. So Outer Range is actually a brewery that's in Colorado. I have yet to be there, which I'm super upset about, but they say to leave the life below. They specialize in Belgians and IPAs, and they are their place of business, their brewery, is at an elevation of 9,075 feet. So Outer Range Brewing Company is focused on brewing be the great styles of craft beer that inspires them, Belgians and IPAs. They will strive to become a place and source of inspiration for the people that choose to leave the life below. So I'll shoot you their Instagram and their website so you can check them out as well. And 
you know, I didn't find too much on them when I was like researching about them, but Hop Culture did an amazing write up. He actually traveled, they actually traveled to, you know, Colorado and they drove up and they went up to the brewery. And what I read in the article was, and you know, I have it here in front of me right now, they opened on Christmas of 2016 and they've been, you know, just killing it in, with their with their Belgians and their IPA. And they also say that it is a 15 barrel brew house that has that chugged out 800 barrels in 2017. And Lee, one of the owners, and he expected them to push out over 2,000 barrels, which I believe was the next year over in 2018. So again, they've been open since Christmas Day in 2016, and they have already gained national attention, named to Craft and Beer Brewing Magazine's critic lists of the best new breweries in 2017, and garnered the best new brewery accolades from Beer Advocate and USDA Today back when this article was put out, which was... Uh, buh, buh, buh. 2018 so I was right about that so yeah they're nestled in the mountains and I mean they were saying that when you're sitting in the tap room and you're looking out the windows all you see is mountains and one great quote that I saw is you know it's it's not a bad life to live when you're waking up in the morning you're mashing in and the mountains are the the sun is rising over the mountains I, I think that's beautiful that sounds amazing and I definitely want to be there when that happens. I, I mean, I definitely got to get myself to Colorado and get myself to the brewery. So shout out to Outer Range. We're going to be trying your all together beer today. And what they did was an IPA that they hit with Citra, Simcoe, Cascade, and Mosaic. This is at 6.5% ABV, which is right there in that mid range between 5.5 and 7.5% of the style. 8% you know is a double IPA, 10% triple IPA, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about the single IPA. So IPA, what is it? India Pale Ale. The way that started was when British had when the British had landed in India and they were starting trade and commerce there. They had left their compatriots there so they can continue continue to conduct business. And those compatriots were dying. Why is that? You may ask. So those guys were not used to the heat that India brought with their weather. So they'd be drinking the local drinks of India which were mainly liquors and stuff, and they were dying in the streets because of dehydration. So the British were like, hey, we need to keep our boys alive. So what they did was, is they over hopped their beers because hops actually help retard, you know, a beer going bad. So they put a bunch of barrels on some ships, they over hopped those bad boys and they shipped them out. They went, the trade route it was actually from Britain over to the Americas then all the way back up to India and you know over those many months that they were at sea that beer had to stay fresh and the way they did that was they overhopped the beers and thus the style was born of the IPA the India Paleo so we know that Outer Range hit this with Citra Simcoe Cascade and Mosaic so we should expect a very tropical bursting beer and I think it's time to just shut up and drink it. Ooh, we got a pale boy. That's actually a really nice color. So it's it's kind of leaning more towards a pale gold, but super hazy. It's, it's hazy. It's definitely hazy. Very, very nice head retention, as you can see there. Let's get the let's get those scents in. Woo! Tropical citrusy dank. Mm, you definitely smell like the mix of all those hops in one. Oof. I mean, that's just delicious. That's that's an amazing, a very, very well brewed beer. Big shout out to the homies at Outer Range. Super crusher. And what I have to say about this beer is like everything you get in the scents and the aromatics you get in the taste as well. 
So it's beautiful, it's tropical, it's bright, it's dank. It's, I mean, you definitely know that they threw in a ton of hops into this and like nice amount of bitterness, it's, it's not overwhelming. It's a very beautifully drinking beer and I feel like they definitely did dry hop the shit out of this, but amazing. Great job guys. So definitely I can super crush this, but alongside that, what would I pair it with? So super bright, super tropical. I would first definitely go on these venture on the side of a very light fare of fish. So maybe like I, I can do some tilapia, I could do corvina, I could do branzino, I can do just honestly like a straight red snapper I think would be delicious. I feel like this could go great as a side dish to some pork, some like fat belly pork, like just seared, or you know what? No, I'm not gonna say fat belly pork. I'm gonna say a cajatina pork. I feel like this would go amazing with because of just like the bright tropical juicy flavors that you get from the beer. And then I feel like that would pair amazingly with the, with the pork. I wouldn't cook with it because the bitterness would make it so astringent that it was disgusting. But I could also go with I can have this alongside a ceviche because I feel like that night nice, that those vinegar notes and the, the fish on the ceviche will go great with this, with the bright tropical notes of the beer. I feel like you can also hit it with some, mm, I wouldn't really go Mediterranean, but yeah, yeah, I think I, I think I just keep it at where, what I stated, but I mean, this is a beautiful drinking beer. I'm definitely gonna go crush this right now. And before I go, you know, you can catch me on Instagram, Patreon, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, all those places. So hit me up. Have you guys tried the altogether beers? Which altogether beers have you tried? Do you guys like IPAs? Do you like this IPA? Have you had anything from Outer Range? Drop me a comment, shoot me a message, let's talk. And before I go, you know, I always like to give love to the peeps that tuned in, so let's do that. We had Door Dive bed -Stuy, Ariana Keisha, what's going on? Chef Ariel 305, Zarni Mary Hocus, what's going on? That beer dude, what's up, brother? Purple Squid, Ruse Beer Shop, how's it going, guys? Joss Melv, Devon Aaron the Great, my lovely wife, and Sarah Bedafina, what's going on, ladies? C. Bonaccio? The homie Elizabeth Victoria, Strange Beast Beer. What's going on, guys? Crafted and Cuffed. How's it going? Hi. Craft Beer Vert, one of my favorites. The head retention is amazing on this beer, my friend. And no, it's not a stout. And the lovely Andrea. Guys, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. There are a lot more beers to drink. There's going to be a lot more reviews to do. So those are definitely coming up. But... I'm gonna go drink this right now. So till the next time, my friends, I love you, I appreciate you. Please stay safe. Let's get back to, you know, hanging out together and drinking beers because I feel like we all need that. Till the next time, my friends, cheers.